Have a nice day. If you look up at the night sky, almost half of all the dots of light you see, if you pull out a telescope, will reveal themselves to be binary or triple star systems. Wow. It, it, is a, it is as common as the breeze in the universe. The challenge here is, what happens to a planet in orbit around a binary or multiple star system? That's the challenge. And is the atmosphere stable enough to support well, a that, life? That would be a concern no matter where the planet is. But here's the challenge with a multi-star star system. As the planet orbits, maybe it'll get really close to one star and really far from another and maybe the orbit is entangled between the two of them trying to do figure eights if you have an unstable orbit you're likely to eject the planet forever into interstellar space and in fact data are now showing that interstellar space may have more rogue planets that have been ejected at for having misbehaved orbits from their star system than there are stars within planetary systems themselves dude you just blew my mind and they're called rogue planets <laughs> i'm just beginning here so watch we also know that many planets have still retained their heat of formation long after they, they've, they've come into existence. Earth still has heat churning, a source of energy that is not traceable to the sun. This is what creates the magma that's sitting below Earth's crust. The sun didn't heat that. That's heat generated within the Earth. Some is left over from formation. Others is created from radioactive decay of elements. But we've got an energy source. And our biology books from decades ago said life needs sunlight. No, 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 no. Life needs energy. It doesn't care if it comes from the sun. The